Welcome to 2016, a new year and new beginnings for all of us at the Liberty family. The year gone by was a year of great change for the UK steel industry, for our business and for me personally. Global commodities and especially steel went into free fall. As the main engine driving growth, the Chinese economy started to slow down and as a result, China flooded the steel market with cheap products. The UK was most vulnerable to these problems due to a combination of high cost of manufacturing and a fragmented supply chain. And we saw the sad consequences in several parts of the country. As a result, several commentators and politicians have implied that the industry has no future in the UK and there is little we can do to arrest the decline. I am of the opposite view. I believe that the current upheaval represents a unique opportunity to create a new, more agile and sustainable business model that can secure thousands of jobs and help the sector get through this phase. By embracing more flexible production, integrating the supply chain, investing in technology and skills, and ensuring government tackles uncompetitive energy prices and business taxes, we can help rejuvenate this industry and capitalize on the excellent skills and expertise built over many generations. Based on this belief, Liberty Group and our sister company, Simic, made some key investments in the UK in 2015. These were designed to begin development of a fully integrated solution that will ultimately range from liquid steel right through to market distribution of steel engineering products. In March last year, Simic restarted Asmat Power Station in Newport, Wales. This is the start of an exciting journey for Simic, one that will continue to expand in the energy sector with the same core objectives and advantages as Liberty is doing in steel. In July, Simic Asmat Power worked together with its neighbor, Liberty Steel Newport, which started production in October after being mothballed for over two years. Soon after, the difficulties faced by Caparo Industries UK presented us with a compelling opportunity to accelerate our integration strategy by acquiring downstream value-added steel and engineering businesses from Caparo's administrator PwC, adding over a thousand new members to the Liberty family. We ended the year by concluding the conditional agreement to acquire Tungsten Bank UK, which will be reshaped into a challenger bank focused on understanding and serving the needs of international commodity businesses and UK steel industry. As we embark on 2016, I see every reason to be confident in Liberty's future. It is a group spread across 30 countries with a strong, consistent track record of success built over 24 years. Our international business will grow from strength to strength, providing key supply chain management and innovative financial services to clients worldwide. This, combined with the inherent strength of our newly acquired UK businesses, their people, products and first-class customer base, will help boost the growth of the global brand that is Liberty. I have always been very proud of my staff, who I consider part of my family. So I welcome all the new members to the Liberty family, and I want you to know we are in this journey together now. I have invested at this seemingly difficult time and relocated back to the UK to be involved every step of the way. I am confident I can rely on your skills, knowledge and commitment to ride out the current storm in the steel industry. Together, we will show the world that UK is and will remain a global manufacturing power. Welcome to an exciting new era in Liberty's history and a very happy new year.